welcome back to my new video um this video um we are going to talk about how to implement um near real-time machine learning microservice and we're going to be using a lot of tools like s3 bucket helm kafka docker python minikube kubernetes okay so if you look at the screen this is the architecture of what we are going to build. We have um, the authentication service, the gateway service, the notification service, which I'm not going to implement, but I just want to give you the idea that it can be done. And also we have the prediction service. And then um, there's um, another service that um, we are not going to implement, but I just want to also let you know that you can do something like that. Um, so what we are going to do is that we are going to um, create um, a database for our users, which is going to be stored in the my, my SQL database. So there's going to be an endpoint called um, login, um, another endpoint called um, validate. Um, and then another endpoint called predict. So um, once you have um, an account in the MySQL database, you're going to create um, a JWT token. And um, once you have that JWT token, that is what you are going to use to um, send um, a request to, to the predict endpoint and that predict endpoint is inside the gateway service and before you can request or post anything to the predict endpoint that um, jwt token needs to be validated okay so once the token is validated it's not expired then you have access to make a post request to the predict endpoint and then the middle layer is our Kafka cluster. And then we have two topics in there, the input topic and then the output topic. Okay, so once you make a post request to the predict endpoint, you are going to produce a message, okay? A message to the input topic. Once you do that, the prediction service is going to consume that message, process it, make a prediction from that data, and then um, produces another message to the output topic. And here you can have other services like Kibana, Grafana, MongoDB that can consume from this output topic and then put it on a, a dashboard or in the Mongo database. Also, if you want to send notification to the users, you can also create another notification service. And that notification service is going to send out emails. And um, the consumption is coming from the output topic. OK, so with our prediction service, we are going to load our model from the S3 bucket. OK, so whenever we train our model, We'll store the model in S3 bucket, and then our prediction service will load those model artifacts from S3 bucket, and then use it for predictions in our Kubernetes clusters. So basically, that is the the whole architecture of this um, um, tutorial that we are going to be coding going into the future. So to give you a demo of what we are going to do. So um, as you can see, we have the authentication service. Um, here I'm using the K9S, okay. Um, if I close this and say K9S, you can see that um, we have the authentication service, the gateway service, the Iris model microservice, and then we have the Kafka cluster, okay, running. So um, as you can see here, we have some predictions that is already pending. 
Um, so you can see this is the data, sepal length, sepal width, pedal length, and then the pedal width. And then you can see the status is what 200, model ID is all this long string, prediction is what virginica, and then the model I the model type is logistic regression that we are going to be building. And um, the dates at which it was created, and then a message called was success. Okay, so that is all about this application. Um, so I want to give you a demo. Um, so we have login, validate, and then predict. Okay, so um, this is um, the password and then the username that we are passing. And um, the authorization is what basic auth, um, basic auth. And then we don't have any body or anything of that nature. So what we are going to do is once we hit this endpoint, it's going to generate a, a JWT token for us. Okay, so that is what we are going to use. If you don't have access to this, you cannot make a post request to the predict endpoint. So um, let me send a request. You see the token is generated for us. I'm going to copy this. Um, mm. Once I copy this. Is there something else I can help with? No, I'm sorry. So I'm going to copy this um, token and then go to um, validate. So you see the validate has this endpoint running on this port 5000. So I'm going to paste in. So we're going to select the bearer token and paste in the, the token that we just generated. And then once I send this, is it it gives us a response and the response is what well, admin is true, expiration date is this, created are this, and then the username is this email address. Okay, so you can see the status is two hundred. Okay, so now we can use that um, token, the bearer token. We can paste it here, and um, so we we want to hit the the predict endpoint running on port 1958, okay? And um, the body of the message is this, okay? Separate land, this is the JSON, um, a JSON data that we are posting to this endpoint, okay? So assuming I change this thing to 20.5, and maybe 1.5, um, let me call this 2.6, okay. So that is it. And um, I've already pasted a Vera token already. So once I send this post request, I'm going to get a payload sent success message, okay. So I'm going to send that. Okay, so there's this success message. Um, so let's now go back. So you can see that immediately we got another message. Okay, you see this was the first one that we saw. Um, and this is the second one we are seeing here. So you can see that it was 20.5. Okay. 20.5, 2.6. Two point six, one point five, and then one point one five, one point one five. Okay. So you see, the status is two hundred. The model ID is different from the the top one. So now our prediction for this data point that we submitted to the um our model is what um vesicala. Okay, and it's the same logistic regression model type created at this time. And then the message is of success. Okay, so it is this um, JSON response that we can decide to um, send to our MongoDB. We can save those predictions to our MongoDB or directly, 
or we can consume it from the Kafka topic. And then we can also consume those messages to Kibana or Grafana or whatever visualization tool we want to um, uh, visualize our prediction um, data with. So basically, um, that is it. Um, maybe I can do the third example so you can see what is going on here. Um, let me post something different. Let's say 200, let's say 10, let's say 50.5 and maybe 26.6. So I'm going to submit this. Okay, so it's been sent. You see, um, once we send this, you see the prediction is now what? Virginica, okay? Virginica, just like the top one. So that is what our model predicted. So um, this architecture is very robust. Um, we can decide to increase the- One moment. We can decide to increase or scale the Iris model micro service when there is a lot of pressure on our on our system, we can decide to scale it. So um, I can decide to scale the deployment to let's say um, two rep two replica sets. So if I do that, you see it's creating another container. So now we have two replica sets for our uh, prediction service. Okay, so we can uh, scale this prediction service. Okay, anytime we want. And then we can also scale it down. Okay, as and when we want. So it's very powerful. So let me scale it down to one. You see, it's terminating the other one um, and maintaining the other port. Okay, so this is what we want to create. So watch out for um, the space. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.